So some people were running into some problems trying to get file uploads to work with type GraphQL. So I gave it a try today and was able to get it working. So I thought I'd share how I got it to work. So to do this, we're gonna be using GraphQL upload, which is the new library, or I guess the renamed library of what used to be Apollo upload server. Now this actually already comes bundled with Apollo server too. So we actually don't need to install any other packages. It's gonna use this underneath the hood. So here's what my resolver looks like that I created. So I just created a new resolver to test this out, which I called Profile Picture Resolver. And the first thing you'll notice is I created a mutation. Um, you could probably make a query too, but that would be weird. Um, and so this just returns a Boolean, true or false, whether the upload worked. And then I just named this mutation Add Profile Picture. So here's the interesting part. Uh, I created a single argument, which I called Picture. Uh, and then you'll notice I specified what the GraphQL type of this argument is with this function right here. And so I said it's a GraphQL upload type, and this is coming from GraphQL upload. And again, this is automatically installed for us because it comes with Apollo server, so we have it here. Um, the other thing is I'm destructuring it, um, and I am destructuring it and set it to the type of upload. So I actually created just this type called upload because it didn't really could find one that uh, represented what the upload type would be in either of the packages, so I just kind of created my own. So if we click on that, we can see what this is. And I just put this in the types folder of the project. Um, so I export an interface, and it has these four um, variables, or I guess fields on it, uh, that we can access. In this case, the ones we really care about are the file name, um, and the, this create read stream. At least those are the two that I used in this example. So those are the two I'm kind of exporting or destructuring here. Uh, and then what I'm doing is, that's kind of how you get the type set up. So the big thing is GraphQL upload comes from GraphQL upload. Uh, and then this upload you create yourself. And then here I'm returning a new promise. And then I'm saying, I'm calling create read stream as a function. And then I'm piping it. And this is just me specifying where I want the image to go, or I guess this is any file. I'm using images though. So I said go up a couple folders and I created an images folder which I'd like them to go into. Uh, and then I'm just specifying the user's file name. And again, you could change this up if you want to do a random file name or whatever you could. This is just to see if I could get type GraphQL to work with it. Uh, and really this seems to be the only thing you need to do to get it to work. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all I need to do um, to get it working and then uh, to actually, and again, I just add this to my schema as well to import it. Uh, how can you actually like test this without a front-end uh, schema or at least a front-end website, I mean, to actually make requests? So usually we go over to like GraphQL Playground, right? Uh, and like make a request, something like this. So what should we add is this variable called picture. So as far as I know of, I don't think GraphQL Playground supports images. I could be wrong though. Uh, so if you look at the spec for uh, GraphQL uploads, you can see how do you actually run the command using curl. Uh, so you could do that, but I actually just used Postman. So this is a program, a little GUI that you can use to send uh, post requests. So this is how I actually tested to make sure it worked. So I said here, put in my URL for the server. So it's running at localhost 4000 slash GraphQL. And then in the body, I said form data. And then the first thing I made a key called operations, and then I pasted in the data for this. And so how did I get that data? I wrote out this mutation here. Um, and then there's this copy curl button. I copied that. I came over here and just pasted this. It spits out a whole bunch of stuff which we don't care about. So we can get rid of all that until we get to this flag over here. We can get rid of like half of this stuff. It's this, let's do big W. It's this data binary flag. So this data binary flag has this kind of like single string here um, that we actually are gonna copy. So this is our actual query or our operation. So I copied this um, and then I pasted it in over here. Uh, and then the thing is I created this uh, key called map um, and then I named my variable picture. So I said picture here, and then we said zero. That's gonna be the key here. And then I actually just choose a file. Uh, 
So if you click on this, it'll let you pick text or file so you can convert this into a file one. Uh, and then I could just pick, so here I picked ZotterPy. Um, and then if I click send, I see it's true. And then if I go to my images, you can see uh, this image popped up and it uploaded so sweet. So that's pretty much how you can get everything working. And I'm gonna have this up on GitHub too if you wanna check out the code for this uh, to get it working for yourself. And again, if you wanna use Postman, you can just Google that and install that if you don't have it, or you can try just doing curl uh, to test out and see if it works.